What's up, everybody? Kyle Maddox with the BSP US East. <clears throat> I've done a few videos before on Macs and using them for astrophotography, such as different apps and um, tricks you can use for um, kind of utilizing your Mac for using it. But today, what I'm going to be talking about is a Mac running Windows on it, and I'm going to be using Windows 7 uh, 64 bit professional. Um, and I'm going to be using a mid-2010 MacBook Pro 15-inch. Uh, this would be the MacBook Pro 6-2 uh, would be the model name. Uh, MC373LL uh, slash A. Anyways, in my situation, and I'm going to give two examples. Um, this Mac right here was enabled to do Windows Boot Camp, okay? But... It's pre uh, UF, UEFI 2.0, so it uses the legacy. And it's much too complicated for me to sit here and try to break it down right now. But basically, you have to have the CD drive. USB thumbsticks and whatnot are not going to work. Um, no matter what you do, no matter what tricks you think you've heard, they're not going to work um, without the CD drive. And some of you may have a broken CD drive like I do, or you may have replaced your CD drive with an SSD and an older Mac. And in both situations, you're probably going to end up having to do this. Okay, so I'm just going to get right down into it. You're going to want to get four applications, um, three main ones in, in question. The number one one being this one right here, VMware Fusion. Uh, I think it's build 8.5.6 for Mac. You're going to want to grab the free trial of that, which that's all you're going to need. It's a 30-day free trial. You're going to need it. <clears throat> only going to need it for today. Okay, you're going to want the daemon tools, which can come in handy for mounting and unmounting uh, physical and virtual disks. You're going to want the free Paragon VMDK mounter. You can get that at Paragon's website. Uh, if you Google this, you'll find it. But it is free. Um, and lastly, you're going to want to grab WinClone 6, which that is a paid version uh, app application. Um, I'm not sure if there's any others, but for this application, this is what I'm going to be using. Okay, so you want to grab those. And the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open VMware Fusion. Okay, and I've already done what I had to do here since it's so time consuming. Um, I did this once and made the partition too small, so I'm, I'm doing it again to make it larger. But anyways, you're going to want to go to add, or is in, in the case of uh, when you first started, it's going to look like this. So you're going to want to click install from disk or image, and you're going to want to click um, your ISO. Your Windows installation ISO. Okay. <clears throat> then once you get it in there, you're going to click customize settings. Do not do the easy install. Skip that. Unclick it. And just go on and click customize settings and save. A window is going to pop up. It's going to look like this. You're going to want to go to hard disk. Set your disk size or whatever you want it to be. In my case, I'm using 300 gigs. Um, Click pre-allocate disk space, unclick split, split into multiple files, okay? So we're going to do that. It's going to take a while and load. And then finally, once you get to this point, you're going to want to click here and start up your virtual machine, which is going to begin the uh, Windows installation. Alright, you're going to click um, in here, you're going to click next, 
Install now. Setup is starting. I'm going to click Windows 7 Professional, click Next, Accept the Terms, Custom, just click Next, and then it's going to begin the uh, installation. So what's going to happen here, just to give you all a heads up, is we're going to expand all these files. Once it gets past installing features, installing updates, completing installation, it'll say rebooting in 10 seconds. What you're going to want to do is click suspend here or suspend there and stop it and then just close out of this entirely. So we're going to skip forward. Okay, so we've, we've reached um, where it's going to restart. We've suspended it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to close out of this. Close out of VMware all together. <clears throat> and in, the, in between, what you can do is uh, go to Google, type installing Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 10, whatever one you're using, to uh, with Boot Camp. And you'll find the first page is the Apple support pages. You're going to want to click... Um, in my case, for Windows 7, I came to this page. You're going to want to click check the tables below. Go down to your model, which in my case, I got a MacBook Pro mid-2010, 15-inch. So I'm going to want number 5 for the 64-bit. And this gives you the exact Boot Camp Assistant software that you're going to need to put on a eight, at least an 8-gigabyte um, removable USB uh, drive. So, and once you download this, it's going to be a zip folder, unpack it, open the folder and take the contents and copy them to your USB stick, okay? So we'll get to that here in a minute. Now that we've completed with VMware Fusion, what we're going to want to do is open Disk Utility. So I've got 379.14 gigs free. What I'm going to do... Um, because the file that we're going to use is in Documents, Virtual Machines, and in my case, it's this one. It's currently 324.34 gigs, so I'm going to try to make my containing folder um, a little bigger, okay? So we're going to go to your main drive at the top, Partition. Add a partition. Okay, we got 375 there. We're gonna go to three. Um, let's see, three. Let's just say 326. Okay, 326. All right, we got name this boot camp. Make it a. Um, MS DOS <clears throat> FAT system, 326 gigs. Click apply and partition. We just have to wait for that to complete. Okay, so now we've completed making our uh, boot camp MS-DOS um, partition. So, so now we're going to move on to the next step. You're going to close out of disk utility. Go to your finder, documents, virtual machines, and you're going to want to right click, open with, Paragon BMDK mounter. Okay, so we're going to mount this virtual disk as if it were a physical disk. So we're going to click Attach Selected. And if we give it a moment, it will actually pop up over here with the other disks. And there we are. Now, we're going to close this. 
I'm gonna go to our launch pad utilities here and win clone six. <coughs> now what we're gonna do let's see. Now what we're gonna do is take this virtual machine and copy it to the boot camp partition. So restore to volume. I ain't gonna lie to you guys, this is probably gonna take a while for me considering how large my partitions are. Once this finishes restoring guys, I'll do the final parts with you. Okay, so <clears throat> we just finished the wind clone uh, restore. So now we can eject this. And in my case, I'm going to delete it because it's taking up a huge amount of space and I don't need it now. So I'm going to delete that. Back to disk utility. I'm going to rename this back to uh, boot camp. All right. Now, in some instances, it says you can choose the boot camp thing as the starter file. But I haven't had any luck with that. So just go to restart. And you want to hold down Alt Option key. And just keep holding that down until it boots to the startup disk. We see on the right hand side the windows partition we're going to click that you may have to uh <clears throat> verify and check the discs so if it does that let it do it because it's just it's making sure that everything's straight. So I'm gonna let this go through with the uh, disk disk check. Basically, what you're doing is tricking um, the MacBook into thinking that it's already an NTFS partition, uh, thereby skipping the CD drive installation. So if you have an SSD or your CD drive doesn't work in your pre-2012 MacBook Pro, then this is probably the only way that you're going to get Windows 7 onto your MacBook. And I would suggest just going with Windows 7 as Windows 8. You know, to me, it just isn't all that great. And Windows 10 uh, may not be completely compatible with uh, all of the... Um, features you know that are built into this mac you know if you have a newer mac then go for it but we're talking about the uh, older macs here if it restarts you're going to have to hold the alt option key again until you can boot up into windows you're going to have to um keep selecting startup drive we're going to go back to the uh, windows partition select that
So once it does that, you should see this screen here as it starts to finish the uh, Windows installation that you began in the virtual disk. So basically, that's what you, you we did here is we took half of the installation and completed that in the virtual disk, which put enough of the installation files into the virtual drive to be able to start up the Windows setup. So. And it may take some time, guys, you know, with the, uh, the Windows setups. So once we get to where we get to selections and stuff, we'll scoot forward to that. Alright, so we're applying system settings. Just got past installing devices. And after this completes and the uh, desktop boots, that's when we're going to want to put this uh, USB flash drive into one of your USB ports in the MacBook body. As soon as this is done, we'll, uh, we'll get to that. Because that's, that's going to be one of the most important steps after in the Windows installation. Alright, it's going to restart again, so you're going to want to hold the Alt Option key. Again, select your Windows partition. gotten back up to uh, the setup. So we're going to type in a username. For me, I'm going to use my typical user. We're going to click next. Use a password. All right, click next. Now for me, I don't have a product key right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip activation if you skip the activation it'll give you the full windows uh, os for three days before it tries to self-activate at which point you're going to either have to enter your product key or you're going to have to um purchase a product key so Select your time zone. For me, I'm going to be clicking um, let's see, we need Eastern. Alright, where are we at here? We're missing Eastern. And right now it is currently set our time. All right, so we're going to click next after we've set up the time. And we're finalizing our settings. And here we go. We have Windows 7 Professional installed on the Mac.
the last step get everything wrapped up okay here we go so we're on our desktop now what you may want to do is click uh, right click the desktop click screen resolution and I'm selecting 1280 by 800 apply and that's much better all right now we're going to complete the last step which is inserting our USB drive So we're going to open the folder, click on the boot camp, and click setup. Select yes. So this is the boot camp assistant. This is going to install all your drivers, okay, that are going to connect with your Max hardware um, so that the Windows can talk to all the peripherals okay so we're going to click next accept and install and uh, once this completes guys uh windows is good to go and um yeah that's about it i just wanted to make this video to kind of help create some kind of walkthrough for this is it spent i spent about a good three weeks to a month trying to figure this out um, I even fried one of my um, hard drives saved. I actually had to um, erase my hard drive and reinstall OS X and all that stuff. So after one hard drive uh, reinstall later, here we are. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, I'm going to try to post all the links to any information. Uh, that I used as well is where you can find the software that I used as well. Um, and if you guys have any questions or comments, remember to leave them down below. And uh, also remember to support DSP, the Backyard Space Program. Um, after this video plays, you should see some boxes that uh, are going to show you uh, some of our other videos that we have on our channel. Um, we're trying to grow uh, the videos. We have a show called the Backyard Space Show that uh, we did a season one. Um, we're working on season two. And, uh, yeah, we really appreciate everybody's support. And I hope this helps you. So take care until next time and good luck.